Hello there, I'm Eamon Holmes reporting for Sky News. A special report with today's breaking news. For that, we go straight to the Sky Skills Studio at Austerley for this breaking news. Good evening. Welcome to Sky News. My name is Vlad. Uh, my name is Evaldo. And these are the top headlines for the evening. Cyberbullying has reached an all-time high. And the celebrities is a major influence to our students. Have you ever cyberbullied anyone before? I like to think I haven't. Unfortunately, mm. I have been. I even thought about committing suicide. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Is that, the, is that the reason why you came to my house upset the other day? Let's keep that between us. OK, over to Sean and Julia in Studio 2. Thank you to Vlad Navaldo. Here today we're going to be talking about cyberbullying. Some people feel that the anonymity used by social networking sites are not fair, which while others feel people should be doing more to enforce these rules. Hello, I'm Sean Turner and I'm here with Juliet Walsh at Tumblr Headquarters. We're going to be talking about how cyberbullying can be anonymous and how we can't track or stop it. So Juliet, um, Tumblr has been, had this anonymous messaging since 2007 and nothing's been changed. So is there anything you're going to do to try and change that? Tumblr is being known for coming together as a community, people meeting each other through their interests, and we feel that anonymous messaging, where it has got its cons, has got a lot of pros also. And people sometimes can be shy and they can make new friends through anonymous messaging. So we feel like that sums up Tumblr is through friendship. However, we do know there are problems and we are trying to fix them. So you say you're trying to fix these problems, mm -hmm. so what can you do by fixing these problems? What kind of things can you do? Basically? You have the choice on your blog to have anonymous messaging or not. And when you do accept that you do want anonymous messaging, there comes a warning saying there can be a nasty side of anonymous messaging. Also, there are support groups. If you type in a certain tag and pe our networkers feel like this pe person needs support, there are also helplines and so on. And our H HQ are trying to take control of what's being said on our website. Is there a way you can almost track these people who are doing it anonymously? I know it's anonymous, but is there a way that you could do it so that they know who's said it, but the person who's received it doesn't? Um, we have got an option to block the person that you are messaging and we are currently looking into trying to get IP addresses. We used to have a fault where you, the person receiving messages could track the IP but we thought that was inappropriate as you could get addresses and whatnot. So instead we're going to host that in at the HQ. Okay, well thank you Juliet. Um, thank you to Juliet here at Tumblr headquarters. Back to Studio 3. Thank you Sean. Hi, I'm Jalal Kamari Mohammed, reporting here live from the Royal Court of Justice, where social media mogul Shivan Ravel is being sued by his financial backer, Tevin Campbell. For those of you who don't know, Shiv is the creator of social network site Treble Clef, a music focus that gives the opportunity for aspiring artists to be discovered. It's a cross between YouTube and The X Factor, and has attracted millions of viewers worldwide, making Shiv a billionaire overnight. However, the site have has come under scrutiny after aspiring artist Lamilton Brown committed suicide due to the harsh rejection and insults from fellow users. I am now joined by Shivam Ravel and venture capitalist Tevin Campbell. So Shivam, are the rumours true? Are you really shutting down Treble Clef? Really? Well, if I have anything to do with it. This man is despicable. All he cares about is money. The rumours are true. I do plan on closing it down. But why is such a successful site? Because with great power comes great responsibility, and really and truly, I cannot have this on my conscience. Conscience nonsense. I've invested millions in this company, and you'll shut it down because of one old emotional kid committing suicide. If you want to feel guilty, go home and cry about it. So what exactly did happen to Le Milton? Look, I mean, I admit he wasn't a great singer, but essentially he suffered a lot of abuse on the site. Some of the abuse that he was subject to, I can't even say on here. Um, he even had death calls, racism, all of it. It was pretty unfortunate. <laughs> If you can't sing, you can't sing. But it's such a great site, a global hit. Don't get me wrong, I, I love my site ever so much, but obviously when life and death are involved, we need to be a bit more careful. Well, I believe the positive is far away one nugget, and I'm a richer man, you know what I'm saying, Joel? Well, that has it. That's all we have time for, unfortunately. Over to you, Paulina. Thank you, Jalal. Welcome to the studio. I'm Paulina, and today on Sky News we have two experts discussing the topic of cyberbullying. Here we have Yasmin, the victim of online bullying, and Bailey, who was the bully himself. So, 
Do you think people lead themselves to be exposed to cyberbullying? Yes, they do. Now, let me get start this off quickly. Um, if someone's bullying you online, the, what you can do is block them, you can delete them, or you can ignore them. It's not really hard, it's just natural to do it. Yeah. So if you want it to continue, that's your business. Do you think it's as easy as just ignoring people though? Do you think that will make it go away completely? I agree with the blocking and deleting. Yeah, that could definitely help. But do you think just ignoring people? Yeah, because uh, so like, say if you, say if someone's texting you, yeah. I ignore them. Yeah. They won't. They ain't gonna message back, are they? Um, so well, it's the same thing. On, don't you worry about whether it could continue in real life too? Like no. bullying doesn't only happen on no. the internet. So what do you think can be done to pre prevent online bullying? I think people should be educated thoroughly on the consequences of cyberbullying and the effect it can have on other people, as well as themselves. Yeah. So what do you think? I think people should just uh, stick up for themselves. If MLK Jr. can do it, then we can do it. He, he done hose from fire hydrants, and man still continues his dream. Thank you for watching us today. That was Yasmin and Bailey, and we'll be back tomorrow with the topic of is McDonald's healthy or not? That was Sky News. I'm Polina. Good night. Thank you, Sky Skills Studio, and that is the end of this breaking news. I'm Eamon Holmes. Thank you for watching.